knees aren't knocking and your teeth aren't chattering just a little at least, then you're not playing big enough. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together, grab your tea, and sip on today's message. Face your fears. Over to you, Will Smith. Also, if you want to know what Will Smith and others have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence Series where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a morning video for free to help you build your confidence. The link to join is in the description below. I was excited about uh, taking a shot. The fact sure. that it was so strange, you know, as an artist, it was, it was uh, fun to get out on that, on that uh, limb and hoping it doesn't break under your feet. Something that probably a lot of people don't know about me, uh, I don't f with the ocean. The ocean is like the ultimate woman. She is beautiful and she will nourish you, but she will tear you to shreds also. The ocean is my worst fear. I don't know what it is or where it came from, but there's something about not being able to breathe. I've tried snorkeling before and I was hyperventilating. My 50th birthday is this year. I just wasn't gonna go into the back nine of my life without having attacked my fear of the ocean. So we're about to scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef. You know, I've never scuba diven, scuba dove, scuba, I've never been scuba divish before. So we're taking the boat ride out and we go through a storm. Morning to you guys from a storm on a boat. We're headed out to a dive site. Probably 25 years old in my mind, and I knew that I would be here one day. So I'm ready. I'm ready. This is stupid. All right, I'm not going. <laughs> Come on, this will be the hardest part of your day. I know, right? <laughs> is it okay to punch sharks in the face? You're like, back up with your shark ass. Back up with your shark ass. Shark ass, back up. Shark jab, shark jab. Yeah, I got it. The first fish we see is a shark. Come on. I'm not doing another dive today. <laughs> the question isn't can you handle the situation? The question is can you handle your mind? Can you manage the thoughts and the emotions that are trying to poison your progress? Forget managing the situation. Manage your mind. Training your mind to sit calmly in the eye of the storm. You know, so many people look at uh, fear or even doubt, but they look at fear as if it's the emotional enemy you know it's the enemy emotion like oh i can deal with compassion i can deal with love i can deal with understanding but when fear comes oh my god bad thing no first of all change your relationship to fear i've said this before fear is not the enemy the feeling of fear is just like any other emotion fear is actually informing you Fear is telling you that you need to do something. Either do more research, get some support, get some insight, study a little more, slow down. Fear is actually feeding you. So then ask yourself the question, what do I need to do, think, or go get to dissipate this fear? Because remember, fear is fear becomes present when you've made up something that could happen in the future. 
and it makes you afraid right now. Like, oh my God, I'm afraid I can get hurt in this relationship. Oh my God, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my money. You're just projecting a story that you made up. Then back into that fear and go, okay, wait, then what do I need to do to minimize the fear that I might get hurt? What do I need to do to minimize the fear that I might lose my money? What do I need to do? Of course, you can't 100% eliminate the possibility, but you can greatly reduce the chances by asking, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid that's gonna happen? And then secondly, recognize that fear doesn't mean stop. People think, oh, I'm afraid, let me stop. Okay, that's a choice to stop. Fear doesn't necessarily mean stop. Fear might mean proceed with caution or proceed with more strategy. Fear doesn't, whenever I'm feeling fear, it doesn't tell me, so I don't even think now to stop with the fear. I do think to slow down, go get some help, go get some insight, voice my fear so that it's not just all in my head. Recognize that Fear is going to come in when you're playing bigger than you've ever played before. I, I say if your knees aren't knocking and your teeth aren't chattering, just a little at least, then you're not playing big enough. The bigger you play, the more you're gonna feel your knees knock and you're gonna hear your teeth chatter. And I'm always playing big. I'm always feeling my knees knock and I'm always hearing my teeth chatter. But I've created a relationship with that fear to go, hold on, let's say fear's right here, fear. What are you telling me? Because fear really is, it's, it's a story. It's, it's something you think could happen. And could it happen? Yeah. But could it not happen? Yeah. So don't try to outrun fear. Don't try to outrun doubt. And definitely don't wait until doubt and fear are gone before you move. Find out what doubt and fear needs to dissipate into the nothingness that it always was. What does it need? And then understand that action brings clarity. So the more you move forward, the more action you're in, the more clarity you get because action breeds clarity and clarity comes with action. So many times you're sitting on the sideline waiting, waiting to get completely clear before you take any action. And clarity is waiting for you to get in action to create clarity. So be willing, be willing to play full out a little nervous. Raise your standard. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. If you like this video and want more Will Smith, check out the top 50 rules video I made on him. It's right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. You gotta take a shot. You have to live at the edge of your capabilities. You gotta live where you're almost certain you're gonna fail.